this video i am going to explain the properties of the lattices so today's property is the distribution inequality so this topic is related to the mathematical foundation for computer science so here let me explain you the statement of this distributive inequality let L. See here it is a finite set and less than or equal to be the operation on this finite set. L less than or equal to be a lattice. Then for any A comma B comma C belongs to L. The following inequality holds good. See here what is this inequality. So this is nothing but join and this is nothing but meet. And the first inequality is A join B meet C less than or equal to this is a join B meet C here meet and again A join C. So A is distributed to B here as well as C here. This is nothing but the distribution inequality. And coming to the second inequality, this is meet A meet B join C greater than or equal to A is distributed to B that is A meet B join and A is distributed to C. So a meet C and these are the two inequalities so which is need to be proved according to the proof number one so this inequality should be proved to prove that see here A join B meet C less than or equal to here A join B meet A join C and by the definition and let me explain you this is A join B by the definition we have the least upper bound of A comma B see here what is meant by least upper bound if you consider the set 5 comma 10 here see here so for this set 5 is the lower bound and 10 is the upper bound so whereas 11 12 13 14 15 and so on these are all the upper bounds of this set and coming towards this one 5 3 2 1 0 and so on these are all the lower bounds of this set and see here and let me tell you one thing out of all these lower bounds what is greatest so greatest among 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on so 5 is the greatest lower bound so this is nothing but greatest lower bound and out of all these upper bounds what is the least one so this is the least so the, this is the least upper bound so here the greatest lower bound is nothing but infimum so what is this infimum and out of all these upper bounds the least is known as a supremum so what is this supremum so this is nothing but infimum supremum greatest lb least lb so coming to this greatest lb so if you see from this set so this is the least value among the each and every element inside the set and see Coming to this upper bound, so this will be the highest supremum value out of all these elements in the set, in the set. See here, so according to the definition we have now, see here, according to the definition we have, A join B is equal to the least upper bound of the set A comma B. If this is the least upper bound, out of all the upper bounds, this is the least is nothing but the supremum. So, this acts as a supremum value for the set A comma B. So, then the relation I will show you for the element A. So, this value acts as a supremum A join B. For this element, so this value is nothing but the supremum value. Got it? And next coming to B intersections. So, B meet B meet C. Next next coming to b meet c so according to the definition we have the greatest lower bound for meet greatest lower bound for join least upper bound see here greatest lower bound of the set b comma c so this is b comma c what is the greatest lower bound out of all the lower bounds if this is the greatest so which is nothing but so this value acts as an infimum so infimum for these elements so this acts so b meet c less than or equal to b and b meet c less than or equal to c and see coming to this point we have what we have a less than or equal to c here we have a less than or equal to a join b and coming to this b 
meet C less than or equal to B and there is a connection here. So for this, I'll show you the connection part. So these two, if you see, there is a connection between these two, B after less than or equal to A or B. So I need these two. So what is needed? I need these two values. So I write A less than or equal to A join B and B meet C less than or equal to a join B and now see here if you observe A join B so how it acts so it acts as a supremum value which acts as a least upper bound for the set A comma B meets C so by seeing A join B is the least upper bound of the set A and next B meets C B meets C so, if this is the least upper bound, this should act as a supremum. So, this is nothing but the supremum for this set of elements. So, least upper bound according to the definition of this, we can write as A join B meet C. So, what is the supremum value? So, this is the supremum value A or B. So, this is the supremum value A or B. See, please remember this one. I am naming it as equation A. And next one, next we have to go with. And this time we have to go with. And next we have to consider this one. So now for, the, for this proof I am considering this one. So let us consider A join C. So by the definition it is nothing but the least upper bound of the set A comma C. So, this is nothing but A comma C. What is least upper bound? Out of all the upper bounds, this value is the least. So, this acts as a supremum value for the set of the elements A comma C. If this is supremum value, element A is always less than the supremum value and C is always less than the supremum value A or C. And see here, again if I consider B meets C now. So, consider B meets C and which is nothing but for me it, it is the greatest lower bound of the set of elements B comma C. So, this is B and C. See here, if this is the greatest out of all the lower, lower bounds, what is the greatest one? So, this one is the greatest one. So, which acts as an infimum for the set of the elements. If this is inferior to these elements, see here, then B meets C is always less than to the elements inside the set. And this is B meets C is less than or equal to C. And coming to this, so we have A less than or equal to C here. In this A less than or equal to A join C. And see here, I'll make a connection part here. So, if I make a, see here, there is an interlink between these two. These two, there is C here. So, if I join this one, so here B meets C less than or equal to C. And joining this one, which is less than or equal to A circle C. And A, I need these two. I need these two. Now see what I'll do. A less than or equal to A join C. And see here. This is B meet C less than or equal to A join C. And if you observe these two. That is A join C acts as a supremum value. Which is nothing but the least upper bound. So this value acts as is the least upper bound for the set of elements A. See here for the set of elements A. And this one. B meet C. So, if this is the least upper bound, so this is nothing but the supremum value. So, this is supremum. If this value is a supremum for this set, see here for least upper bound, so we have to join this with A join, this is B meet C, less than or equal to the supremum value, that is A join C. So, this acts as equation 2 or equation B. See here from A and B. See here from A and B. So what is equation A? And let me show you equation A here. That is, see here, I am writing here. That is A join B meet C. 
is less than or equal to here a join b so this is a this is number a and here coming to the b that is a join b meet c less than or equal to this is a join c this is b if we club equation 1 and 2 see what happens so this is nothing but a join so the, here it is same side so on the same side these two are equal so which is less than or equal to so we have to club this that is a join b meet a join c so if you observe this one so this is nothing but one of the distributive properties from lattices see here this is nothing but one of the distributive properties similarly see here if you observe this one a join b meet c see here a join b meet c is less than or equal to a join b see here a join b meet a join c so this was proved and coming to the proof 2 so what is it to be proved so here by principle of duality see here by principle of duality so what is by principle of duality if we have join we have to change it as meet if we have meet change it as join so this is there is join here meet and there is meet here join and see here so this will be for principle of uh, duality see here if there is join meet and here also that is a meet b so this is join and this is a meet c so if you observe so equality also changes so this is greater than or equal to therefore therefore a meet b join c greater than or equal to this is a meet b union this is a meet c so this is how we have to prove the second distributive law property so this is these are the two properties from the distributive these are the distributive inequalities so these are nothing but the distributive inequalities inequalities so this is how we have to solve please go through this this is so simple to understand there are only few steps if you follow this video definitely you can solve or uh, proof prove these uh, two inequalities those are distributive inequalities from parentheses so so this is from lattices and this is related to the discrete mathematics or mathematical foundation for computer science if you really like you know what to do please subscribe to this channel so and please share it on um, to your friends and raise your thumb if you really like and leave a comment below thank you